Star Wars 7x7 episode 2510. Something very exciting came in the mail yesterday and although I can't share a lot of details with you about the items that I received, I can tell you what I received and I can also tell you a little bit of the story behind it and it has to do with wave two of phase one of the High Republic. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, I'm very lucky to be on the list of folks who receive advanced review copies of Star Wars books and I just got my set for Wave 2 of Phase 1 of The High Republic. So yes, I am now in possession of reader copies for The Rising Storm by Kevin Scott, that's the adult novel, and then Race to Crash Point Tower, that's the middle grade novel by Daniel Jose Older, and Out of the Shadows, that is the YA novel by Justina Ireland. And the reason I can't tell you a lot about this is because reviews are embargoed until May 26th. And that's actually pretty early, comparatively speaking, because the first two of those three books are not supposed to come out until late June, and the third one is coming out in July. But what I can share with you is a letter that was included in the shipment from Michael Siglane, who is the creative director of Lucasfilm Publishing. The thing comes with a High Republic letterhead, and it says the adventures continue in the large title print. And here's what Michael Siglane has to say about it. He says, Star Wars The High Republic novels return this June with three new books set hundreds of years before the events of the Skywalker saga. Star Wars The High Republic, which launched in January, is an epic interconnected story for casual and core fans, kids and adults told across multiple publishers over several years. And while each installment can be read on its own, readers who choose more than one will get a view of the larger story and will see how characters and events from one title or format impact and influence characters and events in the others. And then he continues with a look back at the first part of this initiative. He says, The January books introduced us to all new Jedi Knights, dangerous marauding villains known as the Nile, and carnivorous creatures known as the Drangir. With the events of those books behind us, the galaxy prepares for the Republic Fair, the Grand Republic Fair, excuse me, a celebration with multiple planets coming together in the spirit of unity and peace. But our villains have other plans for the fair. Dun dun dun. And yes, the dramatic sound effect is my insertion, <laughs> not Michael's in this case. So he goes on and he says, once again, Lucasfilm has carefully crafted these tales with five high profile fan favorite authors, the returning story architects. And I like that, that phrase, story architects, is used. We actually had a conversation about that with Daniel Jose Older on the you know set of episodes I did where I interviewed him about his work with the High Adventures comic and so you know it's really cool to see that story architect thing and if you want to learn more about it check out the Daniel Jose Older interviews anyway so the returning story architect architects are Claudia Gray and they list lost stars and master and apprentice as her previous credits and that's kind of interesting because she did into the dark in the first wave of the phase one books but for you know all the authors they don't actually mention their other high republic stuff they mention other stuff that they've done within the star wars universe so that was claudia gray's justina ireland and they list lando's luck and spark of the resistance for her daniel jose older and they list last shot and from a certain point of view for him Kevin Scott for Star Wars Adventures and Dooku Jedi Lost, and Charles Sewell, Marvel's Darth Vader, and Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren. Now we continue. Michael Siglane says our second wave of titles begins on June 29th, 2021 with Star Wars The High Republic, The Rising Storm, and Star Wars The High Republic Race to Crash Point Tower. It will be followed on July 27th, 2021 by Star Wars The High Republic Out of the Shadows. And of course... Star Wars The High Republic from Marvel and Star Wars The High Republic Adventures from IDW continue on a monthly basis and serialized fiction can be found within the pages of Star Wars Insider. We haven't really addressed this point on the show. I have been covering the short stories in Star Wars Insider as they've come out. As far as the High Republic comic from Marvel and the High Republic Adventures comic from IDW, I'm waiting for story arcs to be finished before I discuss them on the show. But if you, you know, have a different opinion about that, if you think that you would like to hear about the High Republic Adventures stories as they're coming out in the comics, then let me know and we'll, you know, see about that. <laughs> 
Now we're close to wrapping up Michael's letter. It says, with regard to these galleys, please remember that these are uncorrected proofs. They're not finished books and errors in spelling, page length, format, etc. will be corrected when they are published. Please also remember that all reviews are embargoed until May 26, 2021. With that, I welcome you back to a galaxy far, far away and to this all new era of Star Wars storytelling. Enjoy the adventures and thank you for reading. Best, Michael Siglain, Creative Director, Lucasfilm Publishing. So it seems I basically have 10 days to read three books <laughs> before we can start talking about them when the review embargo period lifts. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to them that fast, but I'm certainly going to try. <laughs> so we'll see how things unfold. But I thought you might like a little bit of the behind the scenes of that situation. And yeah, I hope it was cool. So there you go. That is the <laughs> end of the episode here. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. 7 by 7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7 by 7 We hope you love it.